Thank you for being with us, family. Now a developing story. A boil water advisory remains in effect in parts of Montgomery County as crews work to repair a ruptured water main. The advisory is in effect for Norristown and Bridgeford, as well as customers in some other nearby municipalities. Natasha Brown is in Norristown with more on what's been a big convenience for so many. Natasha. Well, Yuki, good evening to you. Crews started working on this water main break yesterday morning at about 10.30 or so. And as you can see here behind me, the work is continuing even at this hour. Many, many businesses in this area are being affected at this point, but some are finding ways of staying open. Crews have been working around the clock to repair a 24-inch water main break at the busy intersection of West Marshall and Markley Street in Norristown. Thousands of customers are now under a boil water advisory. Because that large amount of water that was lost through that water main caused some uh, no pressure, no water pressure events throughout our Norristown system, that's what prompted us to have to issue a precautionary boil water advisory. Pennsylvania American Water says the main ruptured Monday morning. A huge area surrounding the break has been affected with no known idea as to exactly how many businesses are being impacted. The boil water advisory affects all of our Norristown system, which is about 33,000 customers. It includes the boroughs of Norristown and Bridgeport, and then it also includes um, Upper Marion, Plymouth, Lower Providence, Whitcane, Worcester, White Marsh, and Perfume and Townships. The boil water advisory will likely be in place for at least a couple of days, as officials say they go through the required process of testing the water to make sure that it's safe. As we get service completely restored, then we will be collecting samples. Our regulations require that we collect two consecutive days worth of water samples. We submit them to our labs for testing to make sure that water quality wasn't impacted, that there's no you know, harmful bacteria, and then we'll be able to look at the advisory. Businesses like Collegeville Bakery did what they had to do to get their pizzeria and bakery up and running, including using a truck to bring in 6,500 gallons of water to continue operations. Business owners sent us these pictures as they welcomed customers, saying they will continue to do this until water service has been restored. Well, those affected in the area should boil all water that would or could be consumed, like ice, brushing your teeth, etc., for at least one minute. Also, American Water tells us that they do have a map on their website if you want to check it out and find out if you are among the thousands of people who are being affected by this water advisory. There is a map on the website, and it'll let you know if you are one of them. That's the very latest for, for now. We're live here in Norristown. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.